to kids vids i hope we're all doing well so in this video i'm going to be continuing my scratch series by making a ping pong game so a ping pong game is where there's a ball and has to bounce off a paddle and the more and the more the ball bounces off the paddle the more your score built up and if the ball goes below the paddle the game is over and I'm also going to be adding a little twist into the game by the ball continuously changing color, which will add a little visual effect into the game. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the demo of my game. Now as you can see the ball's changing color and it has to keep bouncing off the paddle. And if the ball touches the red line, game over so now let me show you how to create the game so when you create a project your screen should look something like this so first let's start by deleting the cat and choosing a sprite I'll pick the paddle so there it is And then we want to do, when we click the green flag, so when flag clicked, we'll go to X0, Y, negative 150. So, as you can see, it'll go right here. And then we want to drag in a forever loop. And then we want to, um, Set X to mouse X. So set X to mouse X. So now it follows my mouse, but it doesn't go upwards. That's because we did set X to mouse X. So it'll move like this. But now we want the ball to come around. Because what's a ping pong game without a ball, huh? Let's stop the project and choose another sprite. This time, I'll pick the ball. You can choose any other type of ball, like the baseball, basketball. I'm just going to pick the ball. Now, as you can see, the ball is a little too big. So, we want to do when green flag click. We want to set the size to like 70. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> and then we want to draw, um, we want to go to zero, zero. X, zero, Y, zero. So that means it'll set the size to 70 and it'll go to the center. And next we want to drag in a forever loop. And then um, we want to do we want to drag in an if mm, no we want to um all oh right and in the wind green uh before the like in the wind green flag click block block we want to point in direction 45 and then um we want to inside of the forever loop we want to move 10 steps and then if it's on the edge, it'll bounce. So that means if this ball is touching this edge, it'll bounce off somewhere. Because if it's pointing in the direction 45, it'll bounce. Like So um, let's test it. So it works pretty good. The ball bounces around. But there's something we have to fix. It doesn't collide with the paddle. Well, forget about colliding, it has to bounce off the paddle. So, for that, we want to drag in an if statement. So, if it's touching the paddle. So, if touching paddle. Grabbing the touching paddle in the boolean. 
clutching the paddle. Then we want to duplicate the point in direction 45 by right clicking on it. And then we want to go to operators and drag in a pick random block. So what this does, if it's pick random 1 to 10, it'll pick a number randomly from 1 to 10. So right now it's 3 because if I like, yeah. So it picks a random from whatever number you put over here to whatever number you put over here. So we'll point in direction from negative, negative 45 to 45. Let's see. Now the ball should bounce off the paddle. Okay, as you can see, it works pretty well. I'll keep play testing. Okay, that looks good, but we want to build up our score too, right? So, we want to make a variable, call it score. And then we'll do false sprites. And then set score to zero. First we want to do that. Set score to zero. And then if it's touching the paddle, we want to change the score by one. Change score by one. Now, as you can see, our score will build up every time we bounce, make the ball bounce off the paddle. It looks so good. But if you want it to look even better, we want to add in a backdrop. So let's choose a backdrop. And I will pick the, um, let's just say neon tunnel. So we have to, if you want neon tunnel, we want to go to um, space and click neon tunnel. Now this looks really good. So next we want to add in that red line at the bottom as I showed you in the beginning of the video. So go to backdrops and then we'll convert this to vector. So we can draw a per like a perfect line and we'll make this red. You can make this any color you want but I'm just making it red. And hold shift to make a perfect line. So, oh. So, get the line tool and hold shift, hold it, and then just draw it across. Now, as you can see, it's a little above the paddle, but we can fix that. Let me just move it a bit down. So, just press the down arrow to make it move a little bit more down. So about there. Yeah, that looks good. Copy. Go to the code. And now we want to. We want to go to the ball. Then we want to drag in another if. So just duplicate this if, but drag everything out. And put this in here. And if. Um, if it's touching the red line, but since it's in the backdrop, we can't, the backdrop's not a sprite. So we can't do if it's touching the backdrop, but I have just the solution for that. We have to do if it's touching the color. So what this basically means if the ball is touching a certain color. So I will pick the color tool. So that means this, it'll like, this will like choose any color from this backdrop or anything in the game. So I will pick the red line. So if it's touching the red line, then we will um, stop all. Stop all. But this is optional. We can broadcast game over. What this does is just add a game over screen. Without the game over sprite, we can't do it. But adding the game over sprite is optional, but it'll just make the game look better. Oops. 
Oops, I forgot to add the space. <laughs> okay, so let's just create the game over sprite. So text box, and then I'll make this white, and then type in game. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Well, you can see it on here, so we'll, then I'll just type in game over. So as you can see, it shows game over over here, so I don't have to make it a different color for you guys to see. Make sure center it exactly in the center. Maybe you can make it a little bigger if you want. But don't make it too big, that'll fill out the whole screen. Okay, let's just see if this is good. Okay, this looks good. And so we want to do, when I see game over, we want it to show. But when you click the green flag, we want to hide. Now let's test it. Okay, good. It shows game over. But now we want the ball to change color like I showed you in the beginning of the video. I almost forgot that. So inside of the forever loop, we want we want to change color effect by 25. So now as you can see, the ball changes color. It looks pretty good. And now as you can see, my score also builds up. Now we will add in some sounds. So um, let's pick a sound for the ball first. Well, we don't need to pick one because it already came up with one. I just used this sound for the demo, so I'll just pick this one also. It sounds like that. So let's go to the code, and if it's touching the paddle, we want to start sound boing. So click on pop and just click on boing. So let's test it. Boing. Now as you can see, it it plays boing. the sound boing when it hits the paddle. Boing. It looks pretty good, but we want to add sound to all the other sprites too. So go here. All right, and I'll also name this game over. Game over. So um, we'll go to sounds and then choose a sound and search up loose. Okay, so it sounds like that. So, when I receive game over, you want to start sound loose, of course. And then, um, we don't need to really add the sound for the paddle. Because when the paddle is moving, we don't need any sound. So, that's it for this video. Bye, guys! If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already. And if you want more Scratch videos, please put it in the comment section down below. Bye! See you in the next video!